means to see whether the function is increasing or decreasing without graph just we can differentiate and analyze so now they give the first question when you differentiate it become degree 2 degree 2 will have two roots so i'll teach you a new technique instead of table i'll teach you wavy curve method to solve this for what values of x x is f dash x is decreasing we call that as intervals of decreasing and where it what is the maximum value and what is the minimum value so now i'm teaching you maxima minima by technique called double derivative test is a double derivative test first step differentiate second step equate it to zero and get the values of x third step double differentiate welcome to the session dear students so in my last class i taught you some of the important concepts of rate measures approximations and few problems on increasing decreasing today we'll continue with more problems of increasing and decreasing functions so now increasing and decreasing functions see condition for f of x to be increasing is f dash x is zero means after you differentiate so you solve for f dash x greater than zero so when you solve for f dash x greater than zero that will give you some x values and the values of x we call it as increasing values then in that interval and decreasing so for decreasing f dash x should be less than zero we say function is decreasing when f dash x is less than zero for what values of x x is f dash x is decreasing we call that as intervals of decreasing so we'll have two types of problems intervals of increasing and decreasing so when derivative f dash x greater than zero function is increasing f dash x less than zero function is decreasing so this is for increasing and this is for decreasing so now we'll start with the problems based on this means to see whether the function is increasing or decreasing without graph just we can differentiate and analyze so now they give the first question find the interval for which f of x is equal to x square plus 4x is strictly increasing second means strictly decreasing so first part will take strictly increasing so what is f of x given f of x they give x square plus 4x this is f of x so now differentiate both sides with respect to x so differentiate both sides with respect to x lhs is d by dx of f of x is equal to rhs d by dx of x square plus d by dx of 4x simplify this all of you know d by dx of f of x what is d by dx of f of x f dash x and d by dx of x square is 2x d by dx of 4x is 4 into const 4 is constant take it out derivative x is 1 so f dash x you got 2x plus 4 f dash x is 2x plus 4 call this as equation 1 now we need to find interval for strictly increasing i told the condition for strictly increasing what is the condition for strictly increasing f dash x should be greater than 0 so now yeah f dash x greater than 0 means 2x plus 4 greater than 0 that is 2x greater than minus 4 transfer 4 to the rhs that is x greater than minus 4 by 2 that is x greater than minus 2 so therefore finally you got x greater than minus 2 what is meant by x greater than minus 2 x belongs to greater than minus 2 means from minus 2 to positive infinity so what is the interval for which the function is increasing from minus 2 till positive infinity they want interval we got it and this is for strictly increasing so if f of x strictly increases for this interval so now i solve for strictly increasing now they want strictly decreasing so b strictly decreasing strictly decreasing means again same f dash x less than 0 for a strictly decreasing we should solve f dash x less than 0 f dash x less than 0 what is f dash x we got f dash x is 2x plus 4 so 2x plus 4 2x plus 4 less than 0 that is 2x less than minus 4 or x less than minus 2 or I say x belongs to less than minus 2 means upper interval is minus 2 lower is minus infinity you know a number line less than minus 2 means go towards left left will have negative infinity 
So strictly increasing solve for f dash x greater than 0, strictly decreasing solve for f dash x less than 0. For strictly increasing x belongs to minus 2 to infinity, for strictly decreasing x belongs to minus infinity to minus 2, that's it. So I hope all of you understood this. So first they will give f of x, differentiate both sides with respect to x and get f dash x. If they want interval for f strictly increasing, solve for f dash x greater than 0. If they want interval for strictly decreasing, solve f dash x less than 0. Next, we have solved the problem wherein we got f dash x less than 0 implies x less than minus 2. On number line, you will have minus 2 here. Less means go towards left and it will be here infinity. So, you will get x belongs to what? Minus 2 to infinity. And second case, f dash x greater than 0. f dash x greater than 0 means what? We will get x greater than minus 2. Means on number line, we will have minus 2 greater means go towards right till what? Positive infinity. So, you will get x belongs to minus 2 to infinity. This is what we have solved. Next we have find the interval for which f of x is equal to 2x cube minus 3x square plus 36 plus 7 is the function. See now this is degree 3. When you differentiate it will become degree 2. Degree 2 will have 2 roots. So I will teach you a new technique instead of table. I will teach you wavy curve method to solve this. We will see how to solve this. First f of x will take. What is f of x? They give 2x cube minus 3x square minus 36x plus 7. Now we will differentiate both sides with respect to x. Differentiate both the sides with respect to x. LHS becomes d by dx of f of x. RHS d by dx of 2x cube minus d by dx of 3x square minus d by dx of 36x plus d by dx of 7. Differentiate each term. LHS derivative of f of x. All of you know derivative of f of x is f dash x. d by dx of f of x is what? f dash x. And 2 is constant. Take it out. And derivative of x cube is 3x square. 2 is constant. Take it out. And then we have 3x square. So minus 3. Take it out. Derivative of x square is 2x. And plus 36 minus 36 x sorry 36 x so it will become minus 36 into 1 and derivative of 7 is 0 so finally you got f dash x what is f dash x you got f dash x is 3 2 6 x square minus 6 x minus 36 this is f dash x now we need to solve for increasing and decreasing so now going ahead 6 x square minus 6 x minus 36 so we got f dash x as 6x square minus 6x minus 36. See, earlier it was degree 1. Now it is degree 2. What we do is we will factorize. So let me take this f dash x. I will divide by 6. Let me divide by 6. So f dash x can I write it as 6 if we divide x square minus x minus 6. So now further I will factorize. So what are the factors for minus 6? What are the factors for minus 6? So we need minus 1. So I will take 3 and 2. Minus 3 minus plus 2. So x square minus 3x plus 2x minus 6. Or further I will take x common. So to become x minus 3. I will take 2 common x minus 3. So now I will write it as x minus 3 into x plus 2. Now I got f dash in terms of factors. See f dash x I wrote in terms of factor x minus 3 into x plus 2. I will equate it to 0 to get the roots. f dash x equal to 0 if I do. Then I will have x minus 3 into x plus 2 equal to 0. That will give me x is equal to 3 is one of the root. x is equal to 2 minus 2 is other root. Equate each to 0. You know how to find roots. Now I will root, write the roots on number line. One root is minus 2. 1 root is plus 3. Always you should write smaller number than larger number. You know very well left side will have negative infinity, right side will have positive infinity. So now we solve for two cases, one increasing, one decreasing. A strictly, strictly 
increasing. Strictly increasing means what? f dash x greater than 0. When will be your f dash x greater than 0? So we say this wave as plus minus plus. So it is increasing between these two intervals and these two intervals. So therefore, therefore, for that x belongs to, strictly increasing x belongs to minus infinity to minus 2 or one more set is what? 3 comma infinity. This is the two intervals at which f dash x is greater than 0. Greater than, so we will get two roots. I plotted the two roots and start with plus minus plus and it is increasing here, increasing here, positive and strictly decreasing. B strictly decreasing. When is the function strictly decreasing? When is the function strictly decreasing? Strictly decreasing means f dash x less than 0. f dash x less than 0 means what? So negative. Where it is negative? x belongs to minus 2 to 3. So minus 2 to 3 it is minus. So simple and one more method in your textbook they give table method this is better quadratic equation x square is positive that's why it starts the interval positive for first set next set negative next this is one interval this is other interval this is another interval where it is positive here and here it is positive and where it is negative between these two it is negative like that we need to conclude i hope all of you understood so in both the problems we found out the uh, what is that? Intervals where the function is strictly increasing and strictly decreasing. For this, I taught you wavy curve method. So, directly f dash x greater than 0 solve. So, f dash x, whatever you got, quadratic equation, factorize them and find roots. Write the roots on number line. See where it is positive and say where it is negative. Where it is positive, we say strictly increasing. Where it is negative, we say strictly decreasing. Next, we have double derivative test. See, to decide whether the function is an increasing function or a decreasing function and where it, what is the maximum value and what is the minimum value. So, now I am teaching you maxima minima by technique called double derivative test. First is simple, step 1, 3 steps we have. First step is find dy by dx or find f dash x. For example, for example, I have f of x is equal to uh, 2x cube plus 3x, something like this. What I will do? Find f dash x. What is f dash x? Differentiate both sides. So it will become 3 to the 6x square plus 3. So first task is done. What is the first step in double derivative test? Find f dash x. Differentiate the given function and find f dash x. Finding f dash x is the first step. Second step equate it to 0. So after you find f dash x here, f dash x is 6x square plus 3, equate it to 0. So f dash x is equal to 0, you solve this. So we got 6x square plus 6x square, what we got? f of x was something and we got f dash x, 6x square plus 3. After differentiate, you got this, equate it to 0 and solve for x. So 6x square becomes what? Minus 3, or sorry. Here we'll take minus 3 because imaginary roots are not possible. So the function is... Say so minus 3 minus 3. Simple. First we will find f dash x. f dash x is 6x square minus 3. So next is solve for f dash x is equal to minus 3. That is uh, sorry 6x square minus 3 equated to 0. 6x square minus 3 equated to 0. So 6x square becomes 3 or x square becomes 3 by 6 or x square is equal to 1 by 2. x is equal to plus or minus 1 by root 2. Two values you will get. So, first step differentiate, find f dash x. Second step equate the derivative to 0. When you equate the derivative to 0, you will get values of x. Third step double differentiate. What is the third step? Double differentiate. See, my dear students, when you have differentiated one time, you got 6x square minus 3. So, take that 6x square minus 3. So, 6x square minus 3 was the function. I am taking a simple example. 6x square minus 3, you double differentiate. Again, if you differentiate, it will become f double dash x. This will become 12x. So, now, Step 3 is done. What is step 1? Differentiate. Step 2, equate it to 0 and get the values of x. Step 3, double differentiate and you will get a function 12x. 12x you got. Now substitute. So now x values we got minus 1 by root 2 and that we say a and another value we say plus 1 by root 2. I call it as b. Now find f double dash a. So f double dash x is 6x. f double dash 1 by root 2 x is equal to minus 1 by root 2 becomes 6 into minus 1 by root 2. 6 into minus 1 by root 2 means minus 6 by root 2. So, it is negative. 
if f double dash x is negative function is maximum therefore conclusion is opposite at x is equal to minus 1 by root 2 f of x is maximum where is function maximum function will become maximum if double derivative is negative and same f dash x that is 6x at x is equal to positive 1 by root 2 okay f double dash x is 6 so f double dash 1 by root 2 becomes 6 by root 2 so now this is positive so double derivative if it is positive what is the conclusion so function is minimum f of x is minimum opposite and minimum value means put that x so all the steps at a time let me teach you then it will become simple for you so now step 5 we equated and we got maximum minima so conclusion so in maximum minima double derivative test what is the step 1 step 1 find f dash x find f dash x what is step 2 what is step 2 step 2 means equate f dash x to 0 and get x value get x values a and b and step 3 double differentiate step 3 double differentiate step 4 step 4 find double derivative at a and double derivative at b the x values of x if if f double dash a is greater than 0 f of x will be opposite is minimum minimum at x is equal to a and vice versa if it is less it will be maximum if it is more it will be minimum this is a double derivative test first step differentiate second step equate it to 0 and get the values of x third step double differentiate and put the values of x when you put the values of x in double derivative if double derivative is positive function will have minimum if double derivative is negative function will have maximum this is a procedure and we'll use this and we'll solve problems and graphically we have meaning for each single derivative and double derivative that we'll see in tangents and normals and i'll plot the graph and i'll make you understand why it is maximum why it is minimum simple logic is if the graph shape is like this here it is the peak it reached at this tangent is parallel to x-axis means dy by dx is zero that's why we say critical point here also dy by dx is zero minimum or maximum the slope of tangent becomes zero that is how graphically we'll get so we'll see maxima minima absolute maxima absolute minima and we'll use uh, double derivative test also so to find maxima or minima first step is what differentiate second step equate it to zero third step double differentiate put the values of x if double derivative is negative function is maximum if double derivative is Positive function is minimum. Negative function is maximum. Opposite. Sorry, we'll continue with the problems of maximum minima in my next session. Thanks for attending the class. I'll see you in my next session. Thank you.